Uh, this is Rob here from robshealthcrunch.com. Go there, fantastic stuff. Today I'm coming to you from Singapore, my new home. From the rooftop of the hotel I'm staying in at the moment while I'm transitioning and waiting for my apartment to be ready. Anyway, see a bit of the skyline behind me. Singapore is a fantastic city. You've got to come here. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place. It's safe, it's gorgeous, full of green spaces. You can hike, you can swim, you can do water sports, everything. It's just an amazing place. Great food, great food by the way too. Anyway, um, today's video is, I want to talk about fruit. I've written about fruit a few times. I've had lots and lots of mostly positive responses to my article, articles I should say. Today I posted another one, a new one, in response to someone's comment about me being wrong. Well, that fruit is not really uh, advisable on the keto diet, especially if you want to lose weight and keep the weight off. Because you want to stay under 50 grams of carb intake per day if you want to effectively manage, sorry, it's a bit hot here, if you want to really effectively and efficiently manage your weight loss and weight management program, all right? If you're above 50, 60, 70, 80 to 100, you're not losing weight, you're putting on weight again. So it's essential, I, I'm around 20 to 30 grams a day, it's essential to stay down there. Um, we get plenty of carbs through the vegetables that we consume on the keto diet. Now, the problem with fruit is it's yummy, it's sweet, right? So what does that mean? It's got fructose in it, that's number one. Fructose converts to glucose in your bloodstream, just like carbs do. The less glucose in our bloodstream, the better. In fact, we wanna aim for almost just as little as possible, as little as we absolutely need, which again, we get from the veggies. And then we also get all of the vitamins, minerals, uh, and other nutrients from vegetables that you would get from fruits, we get more from vegetables in fact. So the thing is, you that's the one point. The other point is, it's the, 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 the sweet cravings. If you are on a regular diet and you're trying to, to turn to the keto diet, you don't really want to keep eating fruit even though it's whole food, it's natural, it it's, it's, comes from nature, but it does contain a lot of fructose and carbs. And that's the problem, you see, because you then don't get rid of your sweet tooth either. You constantly will have cravings for sweets and you'll, every time you see a cake or you see someone eating ice cream or candy, you're gonna wanna have it. That's just nature. So particularly in the beginning, if you're, if you're just starting off with the keto and you're, you're trying to transform into a fat burner and go into ketosis, you really wanna stay off the fruit for a couple of months completely. Because that way you eliminate all types of sweet cravings. And that's what happened to me. I mean, I, I took two months maximum to lose 60 pounds. And I never touched any fruits, not even berries. But um, that's the one thing though. Berries are the most permissible fruits in the vegetable group because they are the lowest on the scale of carbs and very high in antioxidants and the lowest in fructose too, which is why they're sometimes a little bit bitter, especially raspberries and blueberries. So the thing is, if you're consuming three, four helpings of things like bananas, watermelons, um, mango, papaya, things like that, apples, you're, you're, you're easily gonna add on another 60 to, to 100 grams of carbs. And that, conversely, converts into glucose, which we don't want. You want to keep the glucose as low as possibly as you can throughout the, the, the whole time when you're on this diet. I've been doing this for seven years. I'm a certified primal health coach, so I know what to do, you know, it, it works. It works for me, it works for me, and it's worked for many, many, many clients that I've coached successfully help them lose a ton of weight and get healthy and make them look much better and feel good. So that's the truth about fruits. You can consume some if you really want to, but again, I'd advise strongly to, to stay off it for a good two, three months. And then once you're really in into the, the whole mode of, of, of being keto and a fat burner, you can enjoy your, 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 your berries and maybe even have a half banana here or there, you know, but just keep it limited because you don't want to put yourself back into that Mm, I love that sweet taste, or I like to have that cake. Again, just because you're keto doesn't mean you can't enjoy sweets. You can make or buy all that stuff made from almond flour, coconut flour, other nut flours, and sweetened with stevia, natural, natural plant sweetener, or monk fruit is, uh, is, is permiss permitted. So just, just try to bear that in mind. Um, you know, you can make anything. You can make cookies, cakes. Uh, granola bars, bounty bars, all kinds of things I make as well on the keto diet, which, which, which are lovely. So limit the fruits, focus on getting healthy, just accept the fact as it is, and um, that's it. Fruit, you can, but be careful what's inside it. Have a great day, robshealthcrunch.com. Go there, great stuff there.